Hi, my name is Bodislav Bilash, and I teach conceptual physics in a flipped classroom environment. Before I talk about a flipped classroom, let's talk about how I used to teach. Like you and me, we probably attended schools that used a 19th century factory model. Step one, we had a class lecture, typically 45 minutes long. Step two, we would go home, we would do homework, and we would be doing that alone. Step three, we would return to class the next day, we would check our homework, we would have more lecture, and then step four, we would go home and repeat the cycle over and over again. About a week or two later, we would finally get to do a lab experiment, and maybe once every couple of months, we would work on a project. 90% of the time was spent on lecturing, homework, and repeating that process over and over again, and only 10% on the fun and meaningful stuff. Well, the world has changed. We're different now. We have ebooks, online banking, eBay, texting, email, PowerPoint, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Amazon, Wikipedia, all sorts of sources of information. We do things differently now. So that must mean we have to take a different approach to learning. Greater opportunities result in greater expectations. So new skills are needed. Actually, in fact, they expect those new skills. So that means that we need to use modern methods of teaching, 21st century skills. The modified flipped classroom that I use has two steps in it. Step one, we, in class, we get content by video. In a normal uh, flipped classroom, students watch the videos at home. But in our class, we have students watch the videos in our presence. Um, it, the advantages of this is that a traditional 45-minute lesson at the board is reduced down to a 15-minute video lesson. The lessons are safe, self-paced. The student can pause, rewind, and repeat the video, in fact, repeat the teacher. Um, the student is focused on the lesson, not distractions in the classroom. The lesson is preserved on video, allows the students to go back and review the lesson or parts of the lesson any time during the course of the year. The environment is monitored by the content teacher, that would be me, and my partner, the special ed teacher. It's a one-in-one -one environment that provides on-call services as the student needs as they're um, uh, reviewing and summarizing their lesson. Now the, now the fun stuff. Step two. In class, we apply what we learn. At the beginning of class, typically I give students an opportunity for Q&A. Uh, we have an opportunity for practice. We can discuss things, discuss ideas, their ideas. What do they think um, these concepts mean? We can analyze data, analyze their thoughts. Uh, they can produce things. They can make presentations. We can problem solve. We can investigate, conduct laboratory experiments, do projects and we can present. That's 90% of what we can do now. We do one-to-one -one instruction. We have opportunities for small groups to work together and small group instruction. With two teachers in the classroom, I could be working with one group and the other teacher, the special ed teacher, can be working with a second group and other students can be working and teaching one another and helping one another. The more a student teaches someone else, the better they're going to learn the material themselves. There's differentiated instruction, and we, we um, focus heavily on 21st century skills, some of which include critical thinking, self, um, learning how to self-direct, collaboration, how to create things, or opportunities for creating things, and using your imagination.